We also then, we have this point where um, we have AI already designing new iterations of the chip that it's going to run on. I mean, if that doesn't sound like Skynet, I don't know what does. But, but here's another problem. Let's say that we now have an AI that's developing its successor. So it's, it's taking all of its own code and understanding and now developing a better version of itself. And then that happens again and again and again. So we're now basically 10 generations down from the original AI and the code hasn't been touched by human hand. So how do we know that all the values that we've instilled, all the, the safeguards that we have and the ethical values still exist that far down in the generation? Because we don't have that oversight. So, okay, then you have the potential that that system is so complex, humans can't actually understand what it's doing and aren't able to perform the oversight piece. So, so what do we do then? Well, maybe we need an AI to oversee the AI, but we're going to run into the same problem. So it's a bit of a race condition. Um, and I, I think that's a, there is a huge problem that no one has an answer to at the moment. When AI starts to evolve like that, how do we maintain control? That's more generations than modern day America. It is, <laughs> yeah. But it will happen really quickly. That's the thing. Once you start getting into it, that iterative process, it, it, it will just flow and suddenly you'll end up with something that you may or may not recognize from where you started.